Hey. Going to Peru in a couple days, in like a day and a half. I'm gonna start documenting it now. Had a lot of great conversations. I've been in touch with a good friend of mine, Andreas. Um, without, without getting too specific, uh, yeah, we're gonna save the planet. We're gonna go down to the Amazon, clean up all this plastic, and then convert it into either plastic, which you can break plastic, uh, convert it into plastic, convert it into oil. Um, but first we're gonna convert it into plastic. I'm just kidding. We're gonna get the plastic, uh, so you can convert plastic back into oil if you do it under high pressure, high temperature without oxygen, it melts back into a usable oil. Or we're gonna turn it into bricks. Uh, teach the people the value of plastic and that you can actually reuse it for construction and for fuel, saleable fuel. You know, the Peru job is, is one leg of this. So I have a three-tiered plan. The first plan, the first tier is Belen. We go to Belen and we help these people. Proof of concept, look what we can do when we come together. We can get this plastic out of the water fast and then we can reuse it and we can beautify this city and then we go down the Amazon and do this, village to village to village. Second step is to fertilize the ocean. Well, it's a two part, I guess the second part. 2A is to collect the plastic from the ocean with something like Boy and Slat's idea of a, of a giant net that really you line up and it uses the ocean currents to funnel the plastic into and then you can collect it and withdraw it and then we can reconvert that into oil or, or bricks or, or maybe even a third use that we haven't thought of yet. You know, pl plastic's a pretty amazing material really. And uh, then we fertilize the ocean with iron dust. And if you haven't looked into iron fertilization, go ahead, pause the video, read about it a little bit. You put a little bit of iron dust in the water and it causes the plankton to grow. Then the, all that new plankton is food for fish, which then can start to reproduce in a healthy manner and you'll see sea life bloom. We do that. Part three is we spray seawater into the air, into the atmosphere. I don't know that it necessarily has to be seawater. I was just thinking water up until I started reading about it. And apparently this has been going on for a long time because you can see clouds this way. Having that salt, that crystalline salt in the air causes clouds to form around it. So if we need to cool down the earth or bring moisture back to the earth, I think it would really is we need to cool down the earth. Uh, I think that this is gonna be, that that's gonna work. That's the least, that's the one I've studied the least, but I have high hopes. So now you know my big plan. Come with me on this journey. Please donate, help us. So I'm forming a charity, and but it takes a, little, a while, I think. And uh, in the meantime, we're just collecting donations to Ramona's PayPal and Venmo account to pay for these plastic bags, gloves, and suits for the workers that are gonna be jumping in the water. I mean, the shit water, this is dirty water. This is water that they poop in, they pee in, they drink, they bathe in it. It's, it's what, you, what you would think of as like the most denigrated place on earth. It's one of the most undervalued, like uneducated, as we know. I mean, they're, they're educated in their own, but you know, as with sanitation wise, these, these people need it, man. These people, they need our help. Okay. Thanks again. So we've collected about $13,000 so far to pay for the upcoming project, which I think you get like three bags for a dollar, six bags for a dollar maybe. Somewhere between like five and, five and six bags for a dollar maybe. We have about 70,000 bags to go. So that right there is our budget. Like we, we could blow our current budget on bags. So we need to raise some more. I contacted Glad, but you know, a lot of these big companies, Glad doesn't want to get involved unless we have a charity. So some of the bigger organizations, it's going to take some time to get through to. In the meantime, we're just going person to person. And uh, you know, I guess that's what social media is for. This is how you crowdfund the savior, saving of the earth. Yeah, yeah. If you have any questions, contact me directly. Um, looking forward to seeing you, talking to you, and if you have, you know, put some stuff in the comments and let's get down to it. Uh, let's get down to it. I'll, uh, I'll report back later. Mm, I don't know when, but soon.